Konnichiwa, Mina-san. Welcome back to our house in Japan. Summer has come and gone faster than our local train through the rice fields. This summer, we got our first real experience of village life in the Japanese countryside. We finally moved into the house. It had been a few years in planning, and the time was finally here. Working on the house took a bit of a back seat, and instead we spent a lot of time playing around, spending time together with friends and family who came to visit, and the rest of the time, we were exploring the region in search of adventures, playgrounds, and of course, dinosaur slides. I always wanted to slide down a dinosaur's tail. Life goal achieved. Exploring the local cultural sites was a lot of fun, but also a bit of work when pushing two kids uphill. What is culture without community? Being welcomed into the community and surrounded by great neighbors, we were voluntold that we would be supporting the community at the local sports day. This was amazing. After a vigorous stretch choreographed nationally and implemented and executed throughout schools, villages, offices, and beyond, 18 villages would face off in a battle royale sports day. It was astonishingly fun with tug of wars, relay races, and sprints with fun for all ages. We returned to the village as heroes, although we didn't win, to sit down and enjoy more than a few communal beers and really feel as part of the team. Next year it's softball and I can't wait, I've already started watching Ichiro reels to get ready. We did have some unexpected visitors, including one of Japan's most venomous snakes, the Yamakagashi Japanese keelback, trying to make himself at home. I was able to get some work done this summer, I made a bed frame from my neighbor's barn, I was able to complete the demolition and subsequently the reconstruction of my kitchen, to which the video is still to come. These photos and my story were recently published in Business Insider, which was a lot of fun. I'll share a link in the comments. As a Kia are a living space in constant need of work, I also kept busy with a few side jobs here and there, like refurbishing the eventually to be demolished washroom and learning craftsmanship skills, like replacing shoji windows. The house is definitely on its way to becoming a home and it feels more and more like our place. We purchased a K-car and spent our spare time climbing mountains and exploring the local valleys. When I say climbing, I mean isolated one-lane roads with overgrowth taking over the sides, which are closed most of the year due to snow. So much fun. K-cars are a Japanese engineering marvel, packing a big punch in a small package. We got a 10-year-old Suzuki wagon, which has enough room for four seats and four-wheel drive for the winter. K-cars are small engine vehicles which get amazing fuel efficiency. We did nearly 500 kilometers on 25 liter tank, which took us back and forth twice to our local big town, Joetsu. Joetsu is cool. It's on the north coast, has the largest lotus garden I have ever seen. It has castle turrets from a foregone era and some amazing ponds filled with gigantic koi fish of all colors. Joetsu also has an absolutely amazing aquarium. While ignoring the dolphin exhibit, it shows the life of the surrounding sea. Fish, rays, a walkthrough worth the price of admission, and some weird things I have no idea about. Living his best life with his noodles. Oh, no, that, that is, you, can, you can have that back. After fun-filled days, it was time to go back home, hoping that we wouldn't get stranded at the rest stop, reminiscent of The Shining. Being my family's first time in Japan, a trip to Kyoto was necessary. I love Kyoto, and even after visiting it probably 10 times in the past 15 years, it's still lovely. First time in Kyoto with kids, we ended up at another aquarium. Seeing the magnificent Japanese salamander was great. They can grow to be a meter and a half tall. Their research station on the breeding of jellyfish was also fantastic. Fun fact, a group of jellyfish isn't known as a school, but rather a swarm or a bloom. I could have spent days here, but ad other adventures awaited. After a quick trip to Nara to see the bowing deer and feed them some herbal cookies, it was time to say goodbye to family, jump on the Thunderbird and Shinkansen trains, and make our way back home. That's a Shinkansener. Oh my god, it's a handful. Before we knew it, the rice stalks which we saw planted in May had grown before our eyes. They got heavier, yellowed, and bent over under the weight of the grains. It was time for them to be harvested. It has been fun to see the rice process and in the end of the day eat the very grains we saw growing. 
what a wonderful summer it was. Thank you.